Hello everybody. It is uh it's been a while since I've uploaded anything. Let's see, right now it is Sunday, January seventeenth, twenty ten. I'm gonna show you some things that I've done. Done a lot of stuff. First thing is um I got this. This is um a little water block. It has an inlet and outlet for water cooling. It's uh pretty thin. I'll be using this to help cool off the top side, the hot side of these Pelter units. As you can see, I've already stuck four down. I'm about to put the two in the center down. That'll make six. I just got a couple of them in the mail, so I'll be, you know, I've been us I'm using um, Arctic Silver 5 to uh, glue them together. It's pretty good. I like this stuff a lot. Works really well. Um, so... I also have a radiator here. I have it taped up because I'm trying to maximize the airflow that I'm trying to push across it. That part's not done at all. But um, I'm going to shut this off for a second and finish up. Alright, so far I have the water block mounted on top of it. In between here are the Peltier units. They're almost impossible to see. You can see them right there, though. You got the little wire leads coming out of them. I have six of them down there total. And um, I'm going to be, of course, connecting these to a DC power supply right here. That pushes out, it's about 12 volts DC. It pushes out about 350 watts. I'm going to see what happens with that whenever I turn it on. Um, by the way, I glued this down to a big chunk of metal that I removed out of this heat sink. You see this whole area right here that's missing? That's my lower heat sink that I cut out of it and now it's in here. It's uh, mounted really, really firmly in there. Um, took me a long time to figure out how to do that. That was really, really hard. But Now, we're going to see what it looks like whenever I heat it up. Okay, so I've got it running. Um, like I said, the Peltzer units are heating this water block right here. Uh, water's being pumped out through here into this pump. It's coming through here into this radiator, which is, a, I think it's a 16-pass radiator. It's actually a nice size. It's a transmission oil radiator from a, an old Jeep. Got that off of eBay for about 15 bucks. It was a real lucky find. And it pumps it back into the water block, which I'm already starting to feel. I just turned it on about a second ago. And I can already start to feel that it's getting a little warm. And that heat will be dissipated through this radiator. Now I have it taped up so that I can channel as much blowing air through it as possible. There's some air coming out of here from that fan and this fan is blowing air and that's coming out of about right there in the back. So it was really difficult getting all the air bubbles out of here. I put soap water in here so that it would be really viscous. Um, it's not probably not the best thing to do but it's just it's better than straight up water. And here is my pump. This is supposed to put out about uh, about 370 gallons per hour, I believe. And uh, I'm going to let it run for a little while. And uh, in a few minutes I'll see about how hot this is up here and about how cold it is underneath. So far that's all I got. Bye.